Welcome to our Excel tutorial series. Today we are diving into one of the most powerful and user-friendly features that Excel has to offer – slicers. If you've ever wanted to effortlessly filter, analyze and visualize your data like a pro, then you are in the right place. Excel slicers are the key to simplifying complex data analysis and in this video we are going to take you on a step-by-step -step journey through everything you need to know. Whether you are a seasoned Excel user or just getting started, slicers can help you unlock the full potential of your data. We'll show you how to add slicers into pivot tables and pivot charts, filter data with a single click and even customize slicers to match your unique style. Ok, here you can see the data that are present up here. This is pivot chart, yes. And here I have added slicers. What is this? So for example, we have a chart that should be filtered uh, using different countries not only uh, one country, for example. OK, if we would select this country up here in the pivot chart, then we would put country here, filters, into the filters. And here, for example, we would choose South Korea. Then we have all data had been filtered by the country South Korea. But what if we need to filter these countries using not the only country, but for example, two, three countries or even the whole region? How to make it? For this, we have to use slicers. OK, I will delete this country from here. And I will show you how I created this slicer. Let's delete it also. OK, let's put on pivot table. After that, go to country, click on the right, click on your bottom and choose add a slicer. Press OK. Now we can see that such chart was added. Now we can choose the country, for example, Australia and all the data was filtered by Australia. What if we need to choose two countries? Then please hold control on your keyboard and choose France, for example. OK, it's been selected with two countries. If you need to choose uh, more countries in a one column, then you can select, uh, for example, Japan, press Shift and USA then it will select all the countries that are present in this range. OK, how to add the second second filter, for example, second slicer? We have to go to series, for example, up here. Again, put right click on your button, add a slicer by series and put it here. OK, we have series. For example, we need in France. We have only two series, E222, yes, such persons was selling this product. OK, moreover, if we need to clean these slicers, then we have to press up here, clear filter and here, clear filter. Then in this case, all countries and all series will appear again in this paper chart. Of course, you can change the name, for example, the name here, country, uh, for convenience of your boss or some headers of the company. For example, it's more understandable if you write here, choose the country, how to change the name. You should click right click on your button. After that, slicer settings. Here you should write, choose country. Press OK. And here we can make also the same. Slicer settings. Choose. Series. Press OK. Yes. Moreover, we can change the format of the slicer. For example, we do not like the blue color. We have to select here yellow. Yes. And we would like that these slicers also would be in the same format. 
how to do this you can go to the ribbon row up here and you can see that slicer was appeared here when you click on the other cell the slicer is not present please choose the slicer after that go up here and you can choose here required format for example the yellow one or better this one no the previous one the same please do this okay yes good it works well now you have a solid understanding of how to use slicers to interactively explore and present your data making your reports and dashboards more insightful and engaging thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye